lot of people always say this is a friendly city. I could go out on the street and you could be in a line somewhere and just strike up a conversation with somebody you just don't know. Take a picture of the city. Well, the Philadelphia Museum of Art is a huge symbol of this city. And once they go inside, it surprises a lot of people what we do really have. The Philadelphia Museum of Art belongs to the people of Philadelphia. So they have just as much influence as the security guards who work inside that building or any of the building administration. be a great place to work. Um, the thing that makes it so bad is like my spirit and my mind, my heart loves the art museum. My back doesn't. <laughs> the museum it's, it's a family, you know. Uh, when I first started there, they made you feel that from the director on down, made you know, you were a family. Would you like a donut from the Philadelphia no, Security Office? Good stuff. Thank Hello. you. Communication there. Donut. Free donut day. PMA. Right. <laughs> right. 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 That's from the security guard. Do you want the other two? Is it both yeah. Okay. We're a community organization that's supporting these guards. We've been oh, trying okay. to get a meal. Uh, I'm sorry, a meal. A meeting with the administrators for since 2007. And oh. they always come us, run us around, say, give us a call at our office, whatever. And we call and they say, we're not going to meet. So, um, oh, okay. you know, Mrs. Harity, we're trying to put her on spot a little bit. And, you know, we were out here the other day, they didn't accept our letter. So now all these folks that kind of work here, they come by, grab a donut, grab a flyer. At least you know what's going on. If you see her, tell her to call us. It would be great. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Have a good day. All right. Have a good day. The one thing I want to get across to people is that our issues don't just begin with money. It's much bigger than that. My name is Thomas Robinson, and I'm a member of the Philadelphia Securities Officer Union. When you, when you don't have res people don't view your job with respect, when they try to take away your dignity by feeling as though they can talk to you any kind of way, or they can treat you any kind of way, and they, you either accept it or you just leave, it, it makes it very difficult. It, it, it makes it very difficult to go to work and, and to have pride yourself. But in your mind, you have to tell yourself, you have to know that, you know, what I do is very important. It's an integral part of what we do. Enjoy your beautiful day Thank in Philadelphia. You. We're a community group supporting a group of workers here that are trying to get better wages and benefits. Well, at least, well, right now, they're actually just trying to get a dialogue with the outgoing CEO, Gail Harity, and the incoming CEO, Mrs. Rob. chance to sit down with Mr. Timothy Rubb. I would greet him all in all, ask him has he had one of our cheesesteaks? <laughs> and uh, I probably would like to bring him one, as a matter of fact. And, and then we'll get to talking and everything about, you know, what his goals are and what our goals are. My name is Donald Lindsay, and um, I've been with the PMA for about three years. 
We, we're trying to fight for a family-like atmosphere there with Ally Barton and, and the museum. I think we're getting it from the museum, but we're not getting it from Ally Barton. Um, and with both combined, PMA and Ally Barton, it can be great. We see other workers there at the PMA. They, their health care and, and pay is pretty good, along with you know, the, the other benefits as far as leave, sick leave, uh, vacation time, it's, it's real good. But PMA security, yeah, they, it, 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 can, it can improve. I believe the money is already in the contract. I believe the Museum of Art is fairly compensating a la Barton. But a la Barton in turn isn't fairly compensating the workers. So the money is there. I, I don't think the museum had a problem with paying that out. It just didn't ensure that the money was going first to the workers. People see that they're not going nowhere with Ally Barton, so they leave, you know. And that doesn't keep the family atmosphere going. I think Ally Barton could, could be a, a family, a good family too. Take care of your employees. That's how, when I work for other companies, they took care of the employees, made sure that they you know, they got a fair shake and far, as far as pay and um, health benefits is concerned. We're not asking for much. We're not asking for a big slice of the cake, just what we think we deserve and what we work hard for to protect those beautiful pieces of artwork from getting devastated from thousands and thousands of people that go in there every week and every week. Hello, people. My name is Jennifer Escoyaso. I am a security guard here for Ally Barton in the Philadelphia Museum of Art. I'm on the Committee for the Security Officers Union Philadelphia and right now we have a majority of people sign on union cards and we, what we would like as of now is to have a sit down or meeting with Timothy Rubb when he comes in so he can have a better idea of what's going on with us. If I could sit down with Timothy Rubb for 20 minutes I would personally discuss how First, as the union, pretty much everyone has the same gripe or situation that we have working there as of respect and morale and how we treat it as security guards and due to the fact that we are watching precious works of art every day and in a way putting ourselves on the line also. We have no weapons, we have nothing, but we are a distinction from representing also the Philadelphia Art Museum as security there. It's not about us just wanting more. You know, as security guards, we know that we deserve more. You know, and, and that's, that's why we stand up and we fight together. That's why we're, we're calling out these institutions such as the Art Museum and a la Barton itself to let them know, like, we're, we're not being greedy. You know, we're not just asking them to just freely give us anything. We feel as though everything that we're asking for, we've earned. Without the guards, there's no museum. I mean, think about that. We're guarding priceless pieces. My name is Juanita Love, and I'm a guard at the museum, Philadelphia Museum of Art. It, to me, is a sin in this country that you work 40 hours a week, and you're, never, you're like this. You never get your head above water. You should be able to pay your bills, eat go to a movie, go to dinner every now and again, <laughs> without, you know, borrowing from Peter to pay Paul. <laughs> if I got a chance to meet with Timothy Rubb, I would uh, welcome him to the museum. First of all, I've heard really great things about him. Um, hopefully, I'm optimistic. He seems to be a people person, like he's for the general public. The taxpayers, the people who visit the museum on a regular basis, the artists who support the craft down there. Those are the people that someone such as Timothy Rubb, the incoming CEO and new director of the art museum, has to listen to. He can't just turn his back to people who, who are donors, to people who visit the Museum of Art on a regular basis. So we tap into that influence as much as we can because like I said, you just can't ignore that. You can't ignore the voice that those people have. We have the right to sit here and say, hey, let's talk about some things. You know, let's, let's make this 
a situation where it works for everyone, not just people at the top, but everyone that's involved in this. So if you get that atmosphere going and everything, you have people that like to work for you and you will have people that, that want to work for you. If I'm in it, then I'm gonna fight for something to get better. And there's a large group of people that are willing to fight to get something better. So till I'm in another job, I'm still here. As long as I'm still here, I'm gonna fight for something better. I'm not getting any younger. One day, hopefully, they'll take care of me when I get old. Yeah. <laughs> getting a raise for them right now wouldn't hurt either, right? Yeah, you're right about that. Like I said, I got plans for them. college and everything. I definitely want them to go college and everything. I never been. I already have a daughter, uh, my oldest daughter, girl. She has a master's in business. Oh yeah. Yeah, and um, and you know, to get these two going and get them through there, that'd be great. I could die a happy man. <laughs> you know. Yep. I'm excited um, for the change. Um, I, you know, I'm hopeful, I'm optimistic about our chances of getting a, a, a union at the museum. Not only that, once he sees that we're determined, organized, um, I'm, I always think that right wins out in the end. That's just the way I think, so. I'm a dreamer, I guess. <laughs> Can we talk? That's all we want to know. Can we talk? Who has the time of day to sit down with these workers who have given so much of themselves to the Philadelphia Museum of Art and talk with them? Who's willing to recognize the Philadelphia Securities Officer Union as a group that deserves respect? Hopefully that's Timothy Rowe. Welcome to Philadelphia. Can we talk?